this video we will start discussing the topic of limit of quantitation. Here we have an example of an analyte that has been measured 10 times at each concentration and the relative uh, standard deviations at each concentration have been calculated. It can be seen that uh, as the concentration increases the uh, relative standard deviation uh, decreases. This means that at lower concentration the relative uncertainty of the result is higher and at uh, some uh, concentration uh, it's even uh, the results are even not uh, fit for use anymore. So we have defined the uh, limit of quantitation as the lowest concentration of analyte that can be determined with an acceptable repeatability and trueness. Usually these repeatability and trueness limits uh, for uh, LOQ uh, have been set by the relevant uh, guidelines and standards. For example, for pesticide analysis, uh, Sanko has uh, set these limits. It must be noted, however, that uh, the quantitation below LOQ is still possible and this limit has therefore been set somewhat artificially. However, as discussed, below LOQ the relative uncertainty can become very large and in fact in the range of LOD uh, the uncertainty value can become even comparable to the result itself. In the following videos we will dis discuss further the uh, use of LOQ and how to estimate this value.